Well, good day there. This is Joe Van Cleve, and hey, welcome to the month of November. And you might not be aware of this, but one of the things that happens in the month of November is NaNoWriMo, National Novel Writing Month. Many people participate in this uh, global activity, the goal of which is to write a 50,000 word novel during the month. And uh, so people are using different methods of writing, obviously word processors in computers, whether desktop or laptop, a word processing app on a tablet, handwriting, uh, and uh, manual typewriters, electric typewriters. But one of the other methods that people are using are these AlphaSmart Neo devices, these word processing keyboards. This is the one that I've had for quite a while, quite a few years now. And uh, I was going to show you guys a little bit about file management, which I think is a good topic to discuss since some of you might be using AlphaSmarts for NaNoWriMo. Stay tuned. So a brief overview of the AlphaSmart Neo devices. These were uh, originally made by Renaissance Learning and they were intended originally as classroom instructional writing keyboards. So they were a good size uh, keyboard with a built-in text editor type of word processor and a simple uh, multi-line LCD display. The significant feature of the AlphaSmart Neo is, besides the portability and the ruggedness, is the fact that it's powered off of a three AA batteries that will give you, it is said, about 700 hours of usage, which amounts to over a year, depending on how much you use it, of course. But I've, I've had these batteries last well over a year, so really, really good battery life. And there's a backup battery inside the machine also that when you're changing out the regular batteries, you don't lose your, your file. But anyways, people have discovered that these are very good non-distractive writing tools. Now, I've made a video about this previously, and I have my little notes from my previous video dated October 2nd, 2016. I'll go back in my uh, in my channel and I'll post a previous video that I made about the AlphaSmart Neo that gives you a lot more details about the keyboard commands and shortcut commands and all that. But I was uh, thinking recently, because Alpha Smarts are no longer being made new, you can only uh, buy them in the used market. And I recently, just this last month, acquired a second Alpha Smart. And it came wrapped in plastic, and it came with the uh, USB adapter cable. And it's in pretty darn good shape, at least as good a shape as my original one. Um, and so I was thinking, well, let's talk about uh, if you're new to AlphaSmarts, let's talk about file management. So first of all, uh, the uh, operating system that works on the AlphaSmarts, behind the scenes, it's actually Palm OS. Now this is an older uh, pre-smartphone era technology that was uh, popularly known back in the 90s as PDAs, Personal Digital Assistants. And there were two popular PDA operating systems, Palm and the Windows portable uh, PDA operating system. And uh, Palm is not really, it's not Windows based at all. So this operating system has uh, some limitations when you're interfacing with a computer, which we'll talk about in a little bit. But suffice it to say that one of the main features of the Alpha Smart is you have eight uh, file buttons. They're like function keys. And you can uh, push one of the function keys and immediately go into whatever file you've been working on that's in that function key. And, and this is essentially, it's like an unnamed file if you want to think of it in those terms. Uh, you, you haven't given a title to it, you just started working on it. And so, for instance, file number one uh, here is blank. It's just we have a blank cursor right here and we can start uh, typing, T-E-S-T, -E upside down, of course. Start uh, typing our little uh, uh, document here. And uh, then I can just press file two and I can go in and start uh, typing uh, file two. Put some random text in there. So there's some random text in file two and I can go back to file one and it switches back to file one. So I can have like eight different files that I'm working on simultaneously. And none of them are given a name. They're just known as the file name. Uh, so what you want to do is you want to title these. You want to save them at, with a name. And the way you do that is you, when you're in the actual document itself, you do Control-S. 
So control S and it asks me what the name of the file is. And I can just type in a name and save it. Let's give it a title of uh, test one. So there's my title of test one and hit enter. Okay, so now this file is, is called test one. I can clear uh, the file out of this file button by hitting the clear file key and I hit yes to clear the file. Okay, now if I want to reopen the same file that I've named, I've named the file and I've cleared it uh, out of that memory location, if I want to reopen it, I simply go control O. So let's find control O reopens it and now I'm going to arrow down go all the way down past file 8 six, seven, eight. you'll see a bunch of stuff I've written that's been saved under a name and there's the one that we saved right there test one if I select this now I've opened that back up into one of my file buttons. So that's basically how you can manage files on the AlphaSmart Neo. You start by writing it into one of your file buttons, and then at some point you want to save it with a name with Control S, and then you can keep on writing it. Uh, when you want to clear that file out of that file button, that function key, you can just hit clear. The file is saved as a named file in your AlphaSmart. So that means you can have eight unnamed files you could be working on simultaneously and a whole bunch of other files that are given a name and they're saved in the AlphaSmart's memory. And you can you can only view eight at a time. You, you uh, clear out whatever file is currently in the file button and then you can open a named file into one of those file buttons to do more editing or whatever. The other uh, thing about these uh, files though is you're going to want to save these files, back them up to your computer. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to transfer this file to my computer up here and two ways of doing it. The easiest way is to uh, use the send key. So what I've done is I've opened up on my Mac, I've opened up a blank uh, document in pages and I have my cursor situated right here and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook up my USB cable to this thing. This end of it goes into the squarish looking USB adapter right there and the other standard USB cable goes to my computer which I'm using one of these anchor uh, four port USB adapters. Okay, now on the Alpha Smart, it's going to say attached to Mac emulating keyboard. On the Mac up here, there's my cursor. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the send key right here on the keyboard. And when I do that, take a look at this. There it is. It sends the document one letter at a time. Essentially, it types it really fast into your word processing program. That's essentially the first way that you can send a file is just using the send key. And it sends it, it doesn't send it as a named file, it just types it out into a blank word processing document. You can put it into Word, you can put it into uh, pages, you can put it into notes or whatever. You could even put it into a browser window. If you have a, a document, uh, application on a web based you can put it into a browser directly so anything like that you can do the send key for but for longer size larger size files you're going to actually want to treat these as files and manage to move the entire file so this is one of the major limitations of Alpha Smart Neos compared to newer types of electronic devices is because it's not directly compatible with a computer as a flash drive or an external thumb drive would be. The computers don't see the Alpha Smart Neo as a thumb drive or a flash drive or an external drive. You can't just click the documents out of your Neo into your computer, click and drag them. You have to use a special Neo Manager software 
designed by Renaissance Learning. It's really behind the scenes, it's Palm OS. But you have to use the Neo Manager software to move files around. Now, if you do a uh, search for Neo Manager, you're going to come down to a link here that says support.renaissance.com Neo Neo 2 Download and Manuals. And if you click on that link, you'll see this knowledge base uh, from Renaissance Learning and here is for the US version of the Neo Manager version 3.9.3 .3. either for PC or Mac you can download this particular software and I've downloaded it and it is currently on my uh, little bar down here right there when you download this Neo Manager software to your computer, uh, you won't have any problem to download it to a PC. But with a Mac, because the software is not coming from the App Store, uh, it's going to, you most likely your computer, your Mac will tell you that you can't, or it'll give you a warning about downloading this. But you got to go into your security settings and, and acknowledge that you're okaying to download this software from a third-party vendor just that warning there and then it'll install OK and it'll install on your desktop. When you're in the Renaissance Learning Support website you'll also see there's online owners users manuals and guides uh, for using their products which is pretty handy. So I have my uh, Neo keyboard plugged into my computer via USB and I'm gonna click and open up the Neo Manager software here. Okay it's gonna show it as a Neo USB what you're going to see here is a list of eight of your files. These are the function keys on your on your Neo. And it will tell you how many characters in length the piece is. And then it will tell you the first line of the text in that piece. Now you'll notice what it doesn't show you is the title. Remember in you if you have a named file and you've opened up the named file in one of your file uh, function keys, it's not going to show you the name of the named file. And that's a problem that you'll have to to, get, to work around and there is a good way to work around that. And let me show you how to do that. So before you connect your Alpha Smart Neo, what you should do as a workaround so you can figure out what the title of your piece is going to be, is arrow up to the start of your file and um, put a couple spaces in there and at the very top of the file, in quote marks, put the name of the file. So we call this test1, T-E-S-T-1. Put it in quote marks so you know that that is a title, okay? Uh, so when you open up the uh, file in Neo Manager, it's going to show you the first line of the text, and here the first line is going to be your title. Okay, I've reattached the Neo. I'm going to reopen the Neo now, and you'll see now here's file number one, and it's 78 characters it's saying, and you notice it's given me the first line of text, which is uh, the name of the file that I typed in, right, the title of it. So this is important because when you're going to save these files, you're going to click each one of these and whichever ones you want to save on your computer and you're going to click on save. But what the uh, Neo software does is it saves it with these names here. It saves it as file 1, file 2, file 3. And so what you do is you'll first save them and then you're going to go back and rename them with this. And let me show you how that works. Let me go save files. I have a folder here for Neo Documents, Neo USB, and I'm going and it's going to save it. If I sit choose, it's going to save it. And now if I go into my finder, let me show you here, under USB file, Neo files, you'll notice that its name is file number 01. What I want to do is I want to rename that. And I can rename it based on the name uh, that I've typed into the first line of text. So I know that's what the name is. Rename it as test1. There you go. So I've saved this to my hard drive on my computer and I've named it, renamed it with the name of the actual file. 
The reason why it's important to name your files with the actual name that you want them to have rather than file number one, file number two, file number three, etc., once they're in your computer, is that the next time you go to connect your Neo to your computer and and transfer and save the new files you've written, it's going to want to give them the same names, file one, file two, file three, depending on which uh, function key they were in. And it's going to want to overwrite any old files on your computer with the same name. And I've lost files uh, early in my experience of using the Neo. I've made the mistake of doing that and not realizing and it's written over the old ones of the same name. So. Uh, as soon as you transfer the files to your computer, go into your computer's operating system. If it's Windows, use Windows Explorer. If it's uh, the Mac, use the Finder and rename that file that you just transferred. Rename it with the title of the file and you know what the title is because the first line of text in the Neo Manager is going to be the title that you wrote in there earlier on the uh, Neo itself before you did the transfer. So when you've finished transferring all your files uh, to your computer, uh, you want to unplug the Neo. It'll go back into the normal keyboard mode that it's normally in. And uh, you're going to want to perhaps clear out these files, the ones you're no longer working on, and make room on the Neo for new work. So first of all, keep in mind that this particular text that I'm looking at is in file one. And there is a button here called clear file. And if I hit the clear file, say yes, what that's going to do is that's going to clear the text out of the file one key, but it doesn't actually erase it from the Neo because I've saved it already as a saved file. And the reason why I say that is if you go to Control O and open another file, if you arrow down in your list of files, there's test one. It's still there. Okay, and I can hit enter, select it, and it's going to reopen the same file in that file one position uh, or whatever position I opened it up in. So you can clear the file, a saved file, out of your file function keys, but it's going to still be on in the memory of your Neo until you erase it. And the way you erase it is you're going to go to control D, control D, and we hit enter. Do you want to permanently delete test one? Hit yes. Okay, test one is now permanently deleted. How how can we tell? Because if you go to Control O to open up another file, you'll see if you arrow down that test one is no longer in the keyboard. We have cleared it out completely. So this is how you can make room for new files once they have been transferred to your computer and backed up. You can permanently delete them out of the memory of your Neo. One of the ways that you can make the Alpha Smarts file structure a little more practical for a, a more lengthy project is to use the file keys as a way of tracking chapters. And one of the things that I've done that's kind of handy is if you use file number eight, the very last button of the files, use that as a table of contents. Uh, and so when I hit when I press file 8, which is what is open right now, you can have a list of all the other buttons. Button 1 could be chapter 1, button 2 could be chapter 2, or you could just name uh, the contents of whatever part of the work is. So you could have, you know, different sections of your book uh, in the different file keys, and then you will have file keys 1 through 7, that is, and then in file key 8, you will list uh, the summary of what those first seven buttons are actually containing. So this is a good way of organizing your work in the Alpha Smart before you transfer it to your computer. You might have the question of how reliable is the Neo for long-term storage of files? Well, I've had uh, several files uh, stories in this keyboard that have been here for years, but keep in mind that you have this backup watch style battery, flat battery, as a backup battery, but if that backup battery dies and then you go to change out your three AA batteries, you're going to definitely lose your files. Or if there's some kind of a glitch that can happen, you'll lose them. Uh, these are generally, they've been pretty reliable for me, my Neo has been, but I would treat 
of the Neo's memory as a temporary workplace. And when you get to the point where you've created enough work in that uh, file that you don't want to lose it, it's a good idea to control S, save it with a name, and then hook it up to your computer, transfer it with Neo Manager as a file onto your hard drive to, as a backup. Then you can keep working with that file uh, in the Neo when you do revisions to it at some future time, you're going to want to back up again the file with your new revisions. And if when you do that, it's a good idea to save it after you transfer the new file as a file number into your, your hard drive, rename it with the name of the file of the name of the document, give it a rev number, like R1, R2, or whatever. And when you do it this way, you're going to be able to actually track your progress on your work in your computer. You'll have an original name like Rev1, Rev2, Rev3, and you'll see the progress you've made. So this is actually it becomes a way of documenting your writing process, how the thing was written. I would definitely periodically back it up. Uh, not because the Neo is unreliable, but simply as a way of tracking your work and tracking the changes that you're doing to it. Now, another thing you might want to do in the writing process is you might want to take a file that you've already backed up on your computer and delete it out of your Neo, and you might want to transfer it back into your Neo because you're going to go somewhere and you want to work on it mobily, and you might want to have it back in the Neo to work on. So how do you transfer files back from your computer to your Neo? Let me show you. So reopen the Alpha Smart Manager on your computer and click on the second tab that says AlphaWord Files to Send. You're going to select then which file position you want to send it, the file into your Neo. So I'm going to select File Position 3, select a linked file, and open. And I'm going to select the location of where I store my Neo files on my computer. And I'm going to select this one called The Real Deal. And I'm going to hit Open. OK, now it, what it does is it imports all that text. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to connect my Neo to the computer. OK, now with my Neo keyboard turned on and connected via USB to the computer, I'm going to hit OK. And then under the last tab where it says Send List, I'm going to hit the send button. You'll see that in file 3 it actually lists the text of my file here and I'll hit the send key. And up here is my message about sending the file to the Neo. And then if you uh, once you disconnect your Neo keyboard after the uh, the send is completed, you hit file 3 for instance and there is my complete document that I have uh, transferred back into the Neo and it's ready for me to do more editing on. Well, I hope this gave you guys some good ideas for using a, an AlphaSmart Neo as a, a tool for NaNoWriMo or for any serious writing project. Managing your files is essential. Being able to back them up to a computer and hard drive is essential. In order to do that, you need Neo Manager software installed. It is, uh, again, available online for the PC and the Mac operating systems. Unfortunately, it's not available for Android or anything like that or iOS. And I hope you guys have good luck in NaNoWriMo this month. And until next time, you have yourselves a great day.